Hey, look at this. There's a broken canister of mutant ooze leaking down into the sewers. I got a little too close and this mysterious goo is all over my hands now. But don't worry because this sticky slime is non-toxic and it's so easy to make, a three-year-old can do it. All you need for this project are some common household items you probably already have. A little borax detergent booster, yellow and green food coloring, and a 5 ounce bottle of some clear non-toxic school glue like this one. First we'll need to measure out one cup of water, and carefully add half a teaspoon of borax. Stir that in as best you can, and now we'll need a separate bowl to hold half a cup of water. This is the part where you can take the lid off your glue bottle and dump the entire thing in. Stir the glue and water together so you get a good mix. And grab your food coloring because we're going to use two drops of green and five drops of yellow. The yellow is going to give this a slimy yellow-green look, so stir it all together, but don't touch yet. It's only when you add the borax mixture into the bowl that the gelled ooze starts to form before your eyes. You can try and stir it together now, and what you're going to find is a great green glob of flubber. This slime is so shiny, so stretchy, and so gooey and green that it's nearly irresistible not to put it in your mouth. Luckily, it's non-toxic and doesn't really taste bad, but it's probably better if you kept it in your hands. When you can transfer your slime to a different bowl, there will be a little water left over and that can be thrown away. This stuff looks pretty wet and sticky, and if you're not careful, it can get everywhere. But if you dump it out on something like a table and let it flatten out, the whole thing is firm enough to pick up and flip over like a pancake. Because we used clear glue, the slime itself is transparent, and when you hold it up in front of a light, it resembles some kind of alien experiments. That's kind of creepy. We're gonna need a way to store our slime, and I tried putting it back in the glue bottle, but this old Play-Doh container is much better. One batch actually filled both these containers, but I want a canister that stands out. This looks like it should work. It's just a couple of two-inch ABS clean-out adapters and plugs from the hardware store, and some leftover acrylic tubing. If you wanna make this at home, there's a good chance you don't have any acrylic. So I'm gonna try and imitate this with a clear two-liter bottle. First, I'll need to empty this bottle, and my wife really likes this method. Then after it's cleaned and dried, I'm gonna grab some scissors. I'm cutting off the bottom, the side, and top pieces so that I get this nice rectangle sheet of plastic. It naturally wants to roll up into a large tube, so I'll use that to my advantage by placing both ends inside the ABS adapters, and letting it expand. I decided to use hot glue to try and hold this overlapping bit together, then remove the caps and continue with the rest. I'm just using the plugs on the ends to keep the tube the right size as the glue cools. I also added some glue around the edges to make it all a little stronger. Now hot glue can go on the ends, and the adapters twist it on over top to ensure good contact with the glue making this an ooze-tight seal. Well, it's not as perfect as an acrylic tube would be, but it's free. Now our slime can go inside, and when the cap is on, it's actually looking pretty good. The clear plastic allows the ooze to show through, and the ABS fittings give it a more authentic look. How do you think your neighbors might react if they happened upon something that looked like this? Would they call the police? It's non-toxic and dissolves in water, so it should be pretty easy to clean up. Just for fun, I went to the dollar store and got some yellow glow sticks to put inside. I'll break them up to get the chemicals mixing, and shake them until they glow. When I push one of the rods into the center of the ooze, it glows an eerie green light. One is enough, but I'll try two and put the cap back on. I like how this is looking. You can lay this glowing mutant ooze down in dark corners, and people will have a hard time figuring out what it is. Well, that was a fun project and a favorite new toy. If you like these videos, click here to subscribe and select to be notified when I upload my next one. Hit the thumbs up button and share with your friends. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.